Rocket from Jada. Welcome to the Wicked Game Rank Collector. Welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a new package of China. And in today's video, we have something pretty damn awesome to show you. We have in here the HDMI Sega. This is, so far I understood from the seller, this is model number two. We also get no model number one, of course. Uh, what I'm trying to say, they did a little bit of a revision and they some, made some changes and they improved it. So let's see what's inside the box and let's see what we're going to get. So it's raining outside, it's a horrible, horrible day if you look at the weather, but we having here the HD retro game from China, HDMI people, we can hook it to our HDMI television. I really love what they did with the box, box so the, the, the box, so giving us a little bit of that retro feeling. So let's see what's inside. Ooh. We're having to take the console. Yep, all right. Having here an HDMI cable, an AV out cable, power supply, and two wireless controllers. Ooh, goodies. All right, let's take a close look at the controller. I must say it weighs almost nothing. Um, hmm, we used a little screw, but I'm guessing they are using two triple E batteries. The touch, hope you can hear it. Hmm, the touch, I am not a big fan of it. Very curious how this thing is going to react or respond. The console itself, I must say. Hmm. Wait, smelly test. Oh, smells nice. No chemical plastic. Let's see what we have on the bottom here. Genesis Retro Ultra HD. So if you want to hook up your Sega CD to it. That is not possible, so a little bit of a bummer if you're a big fan of the Sega CD. But and overall, this is what we're going to get. Alright, let's do a little bit of an overview of the Sega Genesis HDMI from China. So like the original model, we have in here the volume control, we have in here the on-off switch and reset button. Also very nice, we can use our own original controllers. We have in here a headphone jack out, like the original one. And here we can find the little switch for switching to region. HDMI out, if you want to use the old composite, that is also possible. And here we have the power in. Okay, I'm going to try to hook it up to my capture card and let's see if it's going to work. Does it support the EverDrive does it support multi-card games and of course Chinese knockoff games. I'm very curious, stay tuned, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a little bit of tea and let's play some fake blast passing power from China. And the first game we are going to try is the 28 people, Mortal Kombat. This is a homebrew game or better said this is a reproduction from China. And what you can see the system has no problem with it. Alright, I'm going to mute the microphone and I'm going to play some games. Fight! All 
right. Um, it seems to be working uh, the multi card from China. So we can play multi cards on this HDMI Chinese Sega Fake Blast Processing Power Machine. And in this part, we are going to check out if the switch is actually working. So what you can see here is that the game is booted up, uh, giving Japanese text. Okay, I'm going to switch. I'm not open Nintendo Switch, but the switch on the back of this console. I'm going to give the reset. Let's see what happens. All right, Sega logo. Yes. And we're getting the message that it's not for this region. And now we are going to check out the soundtracks. Are they accurate like the original one? I'm a real soundtrack junkie, so I think this is personally for me very important. All right, let's boot up. Let's go to selection screen. And now the original soundtrack.
Alright, the next thing we are going to check out is Sonic 3 Knuckles. The reason why I'm testing out this game, uh, because a lot of clone consoles had a big problem with this one. So it seems to be that this, yeah, it's working perfectly. So let's play a game. Let's play some Hydro City. Recognizing the card. Working perfectly. And it looks beautiful on this HDMI version. So my next test, the Abbott Drive. And as you can see here, it's a giving an error. Yes, because SD is not in it, but I just wanted to show you that the Abbott Drive is supported by the HDMI console. So now you know. All right, for the final conclusion, um, I am very satisfied about this Chinese Sega. First of all, the screen quality is amazing. I really love it. The sound, it's still an issue. It's still an issue if you look at version number one. The controllers, very nice. I really love the wireless controls and I used part of this review with my official Sega 6 button. So that also works. The games, it supports all of the games. Reproduction, original one, and combination card like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, multi-card and even an Everdrive. So yeah, there are a lot of options out there. Let me know what you think of this. Would you consider buying something like this? It is not cheap. Uh, but still, I think you can have this old school retro Sega experience. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell. And see you in my next video. Bye bye.